Redwood Forest, Gulfstream water A stallion wild big country sky A cactus sculptured widow prairie On New York rain and Texas dry Frontier boom towns of displacement and more and I am lonely like America this a mythic Graceland tour and uh, the pioneers and racketeers the seep your wagon train across the Midwest plain Raging streets here. On Martin Luther King's last journey From Memphis for that mercy seat yeah. But now the curse of Steinbeck's offspring The poor foreclosed and left to bleed your wagon train across that Midwest plain. Graceland tour and uh, the pioneers and racketeers, the sheep your wagon train across that Midwest plain. Lonely like America, the hustler and the free. Lonely like America, from sea to shining sea. The flag that's draped around the brave, stars and stripes of deep. Simply not having a nice day We are lonely America Lonely like America Lonely like America
Hi, I'm Monica Mansfield, and you're watching Mostly Rock and Roll. It is a huge delight to have Martin Joseph with, with us today from Wales, visiting and touring in the United States. Um, Martin, it is just a wonderful to have you here. We have had a wonderful show with you, and I've heard so much about you from uh, shared music circles about how terrific of a musician you are. Thank you so much for coming yeah, it's in. It's a pleasure, Monica. I'm very happy to be here. It's been um, just a joy to hear the ravings of people who have seen you and first learned about you at different um, festivals. You were just at the Folk Alliance, and I know of others who have heard you at large festivals where you're in front of a large crowd. Do you have preferences as to what type of venues that you play? Do you enjoy the, the huge, large crowds like that, or do you prefer um, intimate settings? I th they're all, they're all um, equally um, a challenge and not a challenge in the sense. Um, it's still about trying to make a connection with people no matter what you're doing. And in some ways that can be harder perhaps with a small group of people. Um, for the artist, perhaps not for the people because they think this is really intimate, but you're, you know, you're trying to still make something big happen, mm -hmm. as it were. So, um, so that they're, they're both, I, I certainly don't mind playing in front of big crowds. <laughs> Uh, and um, some of the most memorable nights um, in the past 30 years have actually been in front of 75 people or whatever it might be. So um, uh, I think it's all a privilege and um, I, I enjoy the challenge of it all. Terrific. Well, you are such a prolific writer and you have 32 CDs out or so, 34, something uh, like something that? Something like that. I wouldn't yeah. want you to listen to all of them. <laughs> but yeah, there's, it's been some time now. Yeah. That's like one a, one a year, well, a yes, couple a year. Some of those are live albums and compilation. It's about 20 studio albums. Mm. And as I said, some of the early work. Mm, uh, but um, yeah, I've been, I have been doing it a long time. It, it doesn't feel that I have, mm -hmm. but it, it is a long time now, yeah. That's really a big benefit to you um, in the sense that you have been able to see you probably yourself grow over the years too but but what you bring to the songs is a, a lot of workings through of things you're going through at the time when you write well yeah I mean when you say you see yourself grow I think that's the job really is mm -hmm. to is to document life mm -hmm. uh, certainly um, in, in, in the in the groove that I'm in as far as, as the arts are concerned you know that that um, I feel that a, a good song tells us that we're not alone in the world, or a good painting, or a, a film that we go and see. You know, you leave the cinema with that, that sense of, come on, you know, whatever it might be. And um, I guess what I try to do is articulate, yes, my own journey, but that, th those things that you see around you, and uh, without sounding too um, uh, conceited or whatever, I think it's, that's the job of the artist, to try and in interpret the times, to try and interpret events, um, so that people who do other things um, far better than I can um, can feel um, inspired and, and that they uh, don't uh, literally walk uh, on their own, as mm -hmm. it were, you know. And that, that's my favorite pieces of music always do that to me, you know, that, that they, they encourage you, they tell you that you've got to keep fighting, you've got to keep going, that uh, others have experienced that too, it's a common ground thing, we have community, all of those sort of things. So um, for me, um, songwriting is about articulating those things as best one possibly can and being honest um, not adding to the the noise because there's so much noise in that mainstream and um, I, 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 I you know if you want to have a hit record the chances are you're going to add to the noise but if you want to perhaps make something that's actually going to um, go a little deeper than that then um, then passion integrity honesty um, those are the things that I'm looking for, certainly, when I'm, I'm listening to music. Your beauty Steals everything Runs through me
so much more now. Yes, I saw it written under the moon and the sun. When did you uh, know that you wanted to play guitar, and do you, what do you remember some things about your first guitar teacher? Gosh. Well, I remember, um, I remember watching Glenn Campbell uh, in about 1970. I would have been 10 years old at the time, and he had a hit with a record called Honey Come Back. Mm. I remember he had one of those uh, jackets with, do you remember the strings that used to, the, 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 mm -hmm. the, 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 the thongs used to sort of hang down? And he had the Ovation guitar, and he was on top of the yeah. Pops in the UK. And I remember thinking, God, I'd like to play one of those guitars. And I remember uh, one of our teachers in school had a guitar. Um, so I'd, I expressed an interest in it when I was 10 years old. And that's when uh, my dad bought me, uh, or my parents bought me a guitar for Christmas. Um, but they also joined me at the local golf club. And there's a bit of a difference there. But I, actually, my main love for my, most of my teenage years was, was my, my passion was the sport of golf. And mm -hmm. I got quite good at that in an early age. Um, but if I was going to play guitar, my dad insisted that I have lessons. And I remember going to the Spanish Guitar Center in Cardiff in Wales, um, which is now a lawyer's office or something. But I often drive past there still. And remember my dad picking me up on the corner on Monday nights at 6 o'clock with my uh, Spanish classical guitar, where I used to you know, adopt the pose with the thumb that never showed and, and uh, play all those lovely classical pieces. And that, that gave me a real good grounding. So I asked after my teacher, and sadly he's no longer with us, but I remember he was a, a very friendly man with a big beard. Um, and he would write in pencil on my piece of music and tell me where I was going wrong. And um, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Do you think he knows that you became a professional? Uh, I think, I don't know. I have no idea, in all honesty, because mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I, I didn't see him. Probably I stopped taking lessons when I was about 13, 14. So uh, uh, I didn't see him from that day on. I, that would have been nice. I hope, mm -hmm. uh, I hope he did. I hope he did. Mm -hmm. So you are from Cardiff in Wales, yeah. and is that that's the capital, the it largest is. city there? Yeah, yeah, it's about uh, three quarters of a million. It's not big by American standards, by any means, but uh, that is. Uh, I mean, we've only got, I think, it's one and a half million people in the whole of Wales, anyway. You know, it's that, it's attached onto the left hand side of the UK. Uh, and how do you say it in your accent? Wales. No, Cardiff. Oh, Cardiff. Well, the Welsh is Caerdydd. The, so lots of, of spitting going on, Caerdydd, but uh, I would just say Cardiff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what is beautiful about your city? Should people come visit? Well, they should. Um, a few years ago, it was the fastest growing developed city in, in Europe. It was, it was, it's really grown a lot. There's, um, there's a great um, consensus of the arts there. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're, we're sport mad. Uh, we love our rugby. That's the big national sport in Wales. Um, go I Devils. Yeah, go Devils. That's the ice <laughs> hockey. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, so uh, it's a beautiful, it's right down, right by the water, um, thousands of years of history, mm -hmm. uh, castles, it's all there. Castles? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. do you ever walk through and tour any of the castles? I've done most of them, yeah, you, mm -hmm. you look at them. We, we, we kind of get used to them. I know you guys don't have many <laughs> castles over here, but, uh, and we have beautiful um, national parks, the, the Snowdonia National Park and the Brecon Beacons. Um, it's, so it's, it's a beautiful little mini 
kind of um, country, really. Yeah, it's yeah. about the size of Israel. Um, as I say, it's um, it's uh, yeah. We have a, a Welsh word called hiriaeth, which means the longing of the soul to go home, a love of the land. Mm. And um, Welsh people, we feel that we're, we're very much in love with our, our land. You know. On the trading floor they use the Ouija boards And none of them are falling on their swords Discretion's in an isolation ward It's not the season to be blessed And the cards are marked in every deal Liars, poker and the roulette wheel Even Midas is looking down at heel A far cry from being blessed Rebellion and surrender Betrayal and retreat Mentioned in dispatches to vain, glorious defeat. With our high tech sling and arrow, we still repeatedly shell the perfect ripened vineyard and scorch the olive tree. Yeah. I was looking for some good advice. I can't afford the wise man's asking price Join me in the throwing of the dice The hit and miss to being blessed Far beyond this planet's not yet named Countless crowns of stars that can't be tamed If this is all there is, as has been claimed I'll take a bet on being blessed Rebellion and surrender Betrayal and retreat Mentioned in dispatches to fame Glorious defeat with our high tech sling and arrow, we still repeatedly shell the perfect ripened vineyard and scorch the olive tree. Solomon is derided and dismissed I thought I heard some angels getting pissed Remembering the days when they were blessed But that sun remains an adoration flame Despite what the dungeon days proclaim And the desert winds contain the secret name Watch for storms of being blessed Rebellion and surrender Betrayal and retreat Mentioned in dispatches and vain defeat with our high tech sling and arrow we still repeatedly shall a perfect ripen vineyard and scorch the olive tree rebellion and surrender betrayal and retreats from mention in dispatches to vain glorious defeat with our high tech sling and arrow we still repeatedly Shall a perfect ripen vineyard and scorch the olive tree? Shall a perfect ripen vineyard and scorch the olive tree? If you were to have a big hang with one of your musical heroes, Bruce Springsteen, what burning questions would you have for him? <laughs> or maybe you have had a hang with him. Well, I had the opportunity as such some years ago where we were sort of in the same room at a, because I used to be signed to the same record label. And I had this conundrum in my head about, you know, I've met, you know, quite a few of these sort of, you know, big famous people, but Bruce has um, certainly been a, a very important artist mm -hmm. in my life. And I said to myself, you know, whatever you say right now, Whatever you say, it will be wrong. And so I didn't, and I'm really glad I didn't because I would be regretting whatever I said. It's like, well, I play too, or, you know. Or, uh, you I, know what, I, when what, I met Ian Anderson, I told him, well, my son plays flute. Like, there you go, <laughs> you know, I know. You say the most stupid things. Right. So, so, you know, if that's to happen in the future, very nice. But I, I, um, I didn't want to spoil that moment. And, and um, you know, he's surrounded by people and all that sort of stuff. So I think you should perhaps never meet your heroes because uh, they, they perhaps won't be your heroes. Uh, Although, I've, I, you know, I, I doubt it. I've heard so many great things about Bruce and uh, I'm really enjoying reading the latest biography on him. So, um, 
I'd love to sit down one day and and, uh, uh, and talk and express my gratitude. Mm. Mm. And Bruce Coburn's been huge to you too. Bruce is a good friend. Yeah, nice. Bruce. Is, that's a Bruce I have met and, and hung out with. And um, yeah, Bruce Coburn is uh, an astonishing musician, a complete artist of the guitar. Uh, I watch him, and I want to retire as a guitar player. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, and as much as many of the Canadian artists like Johnny Mitchell and Leonard Cohen, that that poetry, um, that insight um, uh, is is. Um, you know, they seem to have that handle on things. And Bruce Coburn is, is, uh, is a terrific poet. And, and, and again, you know, when you have artists like that who articulate that journey for you, it's priceless. Mm -hmm. It really is, when, you know, because you can go to that any time uh, and realize that, um, you know, that uh, someone's on your side. I want you brave, I need you brave. I want you strong, sing along. You are beautiful, and I'm not wrong. Even today this timeline will be fine Enough for us to find a path ahead and Let it all roll on But if you're drifting away If it's falling apart Just let yourself Be quietly drawn by the stronger call what you really love Just let your soul The one that you brought with you safe To this moment in time To whisper to your fears And wrestle with the noise of this night For you If we could just step outside Look at ourselves For a moment we might see there's a different way we can be Do not expect to find all the answers of this world Cause if you could somehow and then you did Well, who the hell would you be? But if you're drifting away Is it falling apart? Just let yourself Be quiet drawn by the stronger call of what you really love just let your soul that's the one that you brought with you safe to this moment in time whisper to your fears and wrestle with the noise of this night to these moments but it's like we've never left but in a lifetime of returning we're not home yet we're not home yet I need you brave I want you brave I need you strong sing along you are so beautiful I am not wrong and you can bring it on, world, you throw everything Cause in the end, love wins big And there are some of us who will not be lying down But if you're drifting away If it's falling apart Just let yourself Quietly drawn by the stronger call of what you really love now. Just let your soul, that's the one that you brought with you safe to this moment in time. Let it whisper to your fears and wrestle with the noise of this night. May it whisper to your fears. It wrestle with the noise of this night for you. Can you tell us about your CDs? This is your most recent one, um, Songs for Coming for the Coming Home. Mm. Um, and how long has this one been out? That's since? only been out a few months, uh, since about uh, November last year. That fabulous. Came out. Yeah, 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 everyone should get this. And then these are um, some of your, uh, you have so many. I mean, if we, we go <laughs> no. on your website, you know, we, know. Will s we will see them and be able to scroll down. But yeah. um, 
uh, Under the Lemonade Skies. Under the Lemonade Skies. Under yeah. Lemonade Skies, sorry. Yeah, these are the live albums. Let me help you here. That's uh, <laughs> Vegas. That one, that's okay. Uh, that's a live album. This this is um, an album treasure. called The Vault. I, I, I went over and um, sometimes um, you, you, we record songs far too quickly as mm. artists. We get all excited and we go into the studio and we start recording. And um, and I felt that I sang these songs so much better after years of, you know, I do about 160 shows a year, so mm. you really play these songs a lot. So I wanted to re-record them, and we went into the studio and, and uh, re-recorded a, a bunch of, the, of these songs. And it's just me and the guitar, a, as we did today. And um, this is kind of my, uh, my business card, I suppose. Mm. That's what I put in people's hands. Uh, but uh, Songs for the Coming Home is a, is a special record for me. Um, we've, we've, this was finished last November, and I think that, uh, for me personally, um, that's that's my favorite record I ever made. That's nice. Yeah, so that's far. That's really nice. It's not a good time for God. It's not a good time. Atheists deplore him. Headless ignore him. Men with bombs adore him. Gnostics really need him, think tanks never heed an orthodoxy creeds him. It's not a good time for God. Not a good time. Yeah. Singing Ale, 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 Allah. Singing Ale, 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 Allah. It's not a good time. have defaced, the left wing have displaced, and bigotry's disgraced him. Apocalyptics claim, prosperous preachers tame, perverted clerics shame him. It's not a good time for God. No, 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 no. Styles accessorize, robes and rings disguise. Mysticism hides, sophisticates to right, evolution chides him. And the empty church is lost him, close friends double crossed him, the crucifixion cost him. It's never been a good time for God. I need to thank you so much for coming, Pleasure. spending your day here with us. Pleasure. It was a delight, a true delight, and time flew by really, really quickly. Yeah. And uh, we thank you. And please come back to Boston area. We I would will. Love, love to have you around, I and um, we'll promote you and uh, keep up all the great work. I'll try. Thanks. Thanks. Monica. Thank you.